G'day students, hope you're doing well. And this is the final of our sport lessons for remote learning in term three. It's been a long term and I know you guys have felt it probably more than anyone else at that year seven, eight, nine, where you didn't have those couple of weeks to come into school and break things up. It has been a long time at home. And part of the reason why we think that our PE and sport classes have particularly been so beneficial for you is because it provides you that opportunity during the day, especially now that the sun's out, to go outside and get active. One of the benefits of this is actually helps you sleep a lot better and it's also going to be making sure that you're staying fit and healthy when we are confined to our house at the moment. So making sure that that one hour per day that you're going outside, going for a walk, going for a run, a cycle, etc. And if you're only walking, wear your mask. But if you're able to run, cycle, all of those sorts of things, go mask free, get some fresh air, and don't forget to drink plenty and plenty of water as you're doing it. As we've come around full circle, what I'm going to take you through in today's booklet, it's really important that even the students who have had those issues with their document not saving, give some sort of attempt at uploading something at the end of today's lesson. This has been a long journey and there will be a rubric mark from your teachers and part of that is actual completion of this work. And so it's going to reflect on your rubric if you aren't able to submit anything and I would really ask you, even if it's the last couple of pages that you might have lost over the last week or so, to have a go at re-looking at them today, maybe even taking some photos or some screenshots on your computer and submitting them through that means. So let's have a look here. This booklet has taken us, as I've reviewed once or twice before, all the way through movement skills, the fundamental basic movement skills like balancing, walking, etc. And in those fundamental movement skills, we looked at how we could break them down and really look at each part of it. And we filmed ourselves completing something like a kick of the ball and I showed you how to do that with slow motion on your phone. We looked at why is it important in different sports, etc., and we did it for a second um, different fundamental skill. So that was all about focusing on filming it, reviewing it, and seeing where you're at. And I've shown this diagram multiple times now about how you were looking at the throwing action, and that throwing action is so similar to so many different movements that are skill specific within a sport, so sports skills focused. You created your own little circuit going between fundamental and sports specific skills. And then we actually decided to film ourselves completing a sport specific skill. And so I've used the example of tennis a couple of times here and breaking down that initial um, serving of a tennis ball, breaking down all the fundamental components using the PDF documents here that, that are available for you. And then after filming yourself saying yes or not yet, yes or not yet for each of those fundamental components in the specialized movement skill. After you filmed yourself, it was time to start writing out a session. And that session involved the five minute warm up, 15 minutes of practicing your skill and five minutes of cool down. And you could break up your practicing of the skill into each of these different components and also complete the whole skill altogether. So that was 25 minutes worth for the last four weeks and all of years seven through to nine should have completed four weeks of their skill now. And what I've actually asked throughout those weeks is that each of your practice sessions, based on your review that you fill in, you make slight modifications for practice session two, slight modifications for practice session three, and then into practice session four. Now that we've completed practice session four, what we're going to be doing today is filming our post video. So same as what you've done before with sliding across, going to slow-mo on your camera and setting it up really nice and filming yourself completing it about five different times, then re-watching it, whether it's simply on the phone or on an iPad or another device, what you're looking for when you review this is improvements. So if you go back here to page 11 and you've got your component written down and it might be the ball toss part of your, um, your tennis serve and previously your initial attempt might have been a not yet. Now that you watch it five times after you've completed four weeks worth of focusing on it, 
has that changed to a yes? And if it has, then simply we write our yes in that column so that it goes from not yet to yes. And you can see your own improvement on each of the components within, like I've just filled in there, the skill that you specifically chose. Now, even if you have struggled to maintain keeping this document saved, I would strongly recommend that you go back and fill in from memory what you can remember because this page in particular is super important as is what you completed in each of your four sessions, which again should be so straightforward because you've done the session four times. After you've done that and you analyze it by clicking yes, not yet, yes, not yet, you need to fill in this final summary document here. It's pretty straightforward, A, B, C, D, E. Did the control and accuracy of your movement, were you able to take control of it and become more accurate after your post-training attempt? Yes or no and fill it in. Explain why you believe it's the case. So you can't just write yes or no and not tell me why. Tell me why and use multiple sentences here. Outline one clear difference in your performance between the initial and the post. Now, if you can't find anything, that means these four sessions have not been planned correctly. You should have improved something, even if you improve the wrong technique, doing four weeks of it should have made a change. So you're completing here one clear difference, whether it's positive or negative. Why do you believe this change occurred? And you should be able to refer to your training sessions in that answer there and then suggest three things you would focus on to improve it again if you were to do another few weeks of practicing. Now just flip over and I just wanna show you the assessment rubric here. Now this one's slightly different because it has different year levels, but if you look at the year level in which you are working on, so here is year seven to eight, for your movement skills, this is what you should have done throughout sport this term. This is what you should have done for your learning and analysis, and this is what you should have done for improving your skills. And your teachers are going to be looking for evidence in what you submit to the learning task at the end of today's session in the documentation that's there. So take some time. If you took any photos, any videos, if you wrote anything or took screenshots and you haven't uploaded those yet, this is the week to upload all of your evidence for your sport classes to show how well you worked through the book for the last nine weeks worth of our sport lessons. We really do hope you've enjoyed this guided process. We took it pretty slow. You should have been able to get this all done a little bit quicker, but we took our time, gave you 30 to 40 minutes worth of work each lesson so that you could just go outside, have a walk, get some breath of fresh air. But right now, it's about consolidating and finalizing all of that work that you've done this term and putting it all together. Your teachers are available. Send them an email. Some of them will send out Zoom links. And you just need to ask for help if you need it. But you should have been doing that throughout. So this is the week to get all of your sports stuff finalized, upload to learning tasks so that we can have that replicated on a rubric. See you soon.